AP of the day three. It's actually not morning. Today is pretty late. But hello everyone. I'm on my uh, Largosi looking Silvari. And the achievement we're going for today is not in the new release. It's kind of somewhat related to it though because Ascension is a big part of the story at the moment. And it's left me looking at this map and more interested in this map again. We're looking at Augury Ascended. Reach the pinnacle of Augury Rock. So this is actually not what I was originally intending to go for. I was going to do something in the Desert Highlands or something. Um, but I was waiting for the day-night cycle to fix, and during that, I was going for hero challenges. And while I was here in hero challenges, I saw the meta triggered, and then I looked at the achievements on this map, and I saw Augury Ascended. So the description of this is just climb to the top of Augury Rock, or, or, or something to that effect. And it says, am I ascended now? Uh, it's an achievement I had no idea was in the game. You're really going to see the depths of my ignorance about the Path of Fire stuff. It's very, really exciting. I loved what I did here today. Um, so, Augury Rock, I know at the start of this as being, you know, the site of the meta. And once the event chain is complete, it opens up. And then you can explore inside and do some stuff to do with the Flame Seeker prophecies. And there's like a basement area that you, is newly unveiled. But beyond all of that, I didn't really know what else was going on there. I knew you could climb up around the outside. So uh, I'm headed to Augury Rock now to see if I could just climb on it. You'll see that the meta event is currently in a place where it's wild magic dispersed. And um, really coolly, actually, if you listen to the audio as I speak here, you'll hear a rumbling noise get louder and louder and louder. I had no idea. Here, listen to this. I had no idea that the audio was a part of this meta. It's very much like in Lion's Arch, the Karka Hunt. Something I adored about the Karka Hunt was you spent so many hours looking for Karka and you could hear them nearby. And just knowing that they were somewhere near but you couldn't quite see was thrilling. It was one of my fondest memories in all of Guild Wars, doing that Karka Hunt without any kind of guide or anything. And I feel like so many people missed out. Anyway, it seems the devs are doing something similar with the meta here um, in order to find the wild dispersed magic. And I didn't know that until today, really. Anyway, so yeah, Augury Rock's closed. And I'm thinking, well... We don't necessarily need to be in Augury Rock for this achievement. Maybe we can just climb on top of it. And especially what I'm thinking, and I'll participate in the meta a little bit as I go, because hey, we'll get extra rewards later. Uh, especially what I'm thinking is the new map has the Bond of... What's it called? It's not called the Bond of Life, is it? Anyway, the, we've got a new utility skill on our mounts, which wasn't available when this was all originally added, which allows you to leap off of the top of your mount. I actually want to do a dedicated video on that. I just don't know how meat for the main channel. I just don't know how meaty it will be because, like, it, it's a really fun mastery. I just don't know how applicable it is to the game. I was looking in vanilla areas and core Guild Wars 2 locations to see if I could find a place where it would be really valuable. Like, maybe for a map breakout or something. Especially, it feels really good on skimmer. Using it off the back of a skimmer is nice. It stops a lot of this swapping around. But anyway, for the achievement of the day today... I'm thinking I'll use it off of the top to get onto Augury Rock somehow. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the vista now. Not actually for map completion. I'm looking to see if I can see, you know, the ledges and whatnot that are around. I've had multiple days in the past trying to climb on top of this thing for various reasons. I think that maybe there was some forgotten debris or there's a point of interest or a vista or something up here. And I, I just have a couple of particular memories on maybe two or three separate days coming to try and grind my way up the top of the, the mountain and spending ages on it and it being really frustrating. So I, I had that very much in mind as I was playing here. And I also didn't want a really crappy video where I was just grinding against rocks the entire time. So uh, I came to the one place here with the vista where I knew that there was some gangways and some ability to walk up. And we're going to try and climb on top of Augury from here and see what manifests. There's an always time for timey spot and I was curious about this as well. Um, this character hasn't actually played Path of Fire or anything. It's actually a PvP tune that I took the painstaking clicking time to level to 80 and click through all those useless level up rewards. I suppose we get a sigil notification now though, so that's nice. But yeah, I'm going to speak to Timey and see. Timey, this is the commander. Hi there, I'd love to chat, but right now we're dealing with a small scale truck invasion. Gotta go. Right, and she's just got, I think that's like the default POF stuff. Obviously the most recent release is so profound in how the story ends. And you don't get a chance to catch up with any of the characters. I thought it'd be hilarious if as an Easter egg, the devs updated an always time for timey spot or something. Not that this character would have triggered it anyway. I didn't think of that when I pressed F, but that would be kind of cool, you know. I still think there should be something hidden there, but we're really looking out for current events. Right, so we're trying to climb up. And now, I, I, everywhere we've stood so far is obviously dev intended. And now I don't know if it is. I realize that there's a plateau over here, though. 
And I immediately recognize, hey, the mastery could be quite good for this. Then I try and come up onto this plateau, which is also a little bit higher. Then we can have this rock here. And right now, I'm not really sure whether I'm doing it the way the devs wanted it done. Because obviously, I've used a mastery to get here. But we're really close to the top now. Really close. Look at that. We can almost climb on top of Augie Rock. And I'm actually getting really thrilled right now. I'm like, wow, I didn't realize you could climb on top of the whole goddamn thing. And there was an achievement up there. I actually had no idea. So I used the mastery at the very top. But I kind of don't make it. And it feels like maybe there was an invisible wall, but I can't tell. So then I'm just going to glide around here and see if I can get to a higher plateau. I'm trying to judge how much height I've lost. And then I realize, ah, there is an invisible wall. At least there. So now a lot of things are going through my mind, which is essentially that if the devs have invisible walled the quite obvious route up, that's either because they don't want people on top of it altogether, and I've misinterpreted the achievement, or it's that they have a very specific route they want people to go for. But that's not enough to deter me just yet. I've got these two things in my mind. So I'm going to come back up. The freaking griffin dismount is annoying. I should just get used to pressing the bind again and then dismounting in that way. But yeah, we'll try here. And this time we'll go slightly more to the right, which is a slightly lower plateau. And there is definitely an invisible wall. So we get a beautiful look at the very top of Augury Rock there. And here we could, in theory, use the griffin mastery to flap and gain even more height. And we could properly grind against that. But there's an invisible wall. We definitely are meant to do this. So now I'm just flying in a big circle, trying to see if there was any dev intended route whatsoever. Since we've got so much height, we can figure this out. But look, that's all invisible walled off there. Crazy POF combat music starts now. Honestly, uh, if and when I get around to the big POF review, I'm going to find it really hard to talk about the music because I actually think it's one of the worst aspects of the expansion. Not the music itself, just how it's used, its volume, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, which is a real shame because it takes some beautiful artistry and kind of makes me as a player not appreciate it. Anyway, so now I'm being stubborn, and I think I grind against this a tiny little bit longer, but basically we can't do it. So I, I give up, and I realize I'm probably going to have to do the meta, and it's going to be something inside. Which is really kind of thrilling. On the one hand, I'm upset that I have to do the meta. On the other hand, I'm thinking to myself, hold on. I must not know everything that's in there then. And that's pretty exciting. So let's see what happens. So here I am in the day. Several players have arrived uh, as we've gone along. And we're about to activate the teleporter in 17 seconds. I had to push this entire thing. Uh, this is the first time I've really played PvE Scourge for what it's worth. In open world. I mean, raids like this special case where things feel different. I have raided on Scourge before. But uh, I don't know whether it's actually anywhere near as strong as I'd want it to be. We've done it. Step through the teleporter, and we'll finally be in the ascension chamber. It's kind of a shocking reminder to me as to why so many people think the necro sucks and stuff. It's got such hot competition though. Reaper is so incredible in the open world. It's hard to justify playing a scourge in it. But you know, I'm having reasonable fun slowly unlocking it. So here I'm wondering whether the boss boons himself or not. If he boons himself, corrupt boons pretty good. If not, I will probably run um, the signet and just spam the signet on him. The thing is with uh, blood is power is I don't know whether I trust I've got enough transferals. I'm also on spike by the way right now as you see, but I'm actually going to retreat in the middle of the fight. We won't watch the whole battle. This isn't really a video about the meta. So let's skip ahead to the end phase here. You'll notice I'm casting my elite on him. I get a really good burn in this last phase. It took a while to get through the fight in general. Uh, Epi, as ever, was pretty fun. I'm just trying to dodge to sustain until I can get more barrier and stuff. Um, and yeah, he basically eats the entire Plague Lands, which is awesome. Uh, I get some nice procs of Sadistic Searing as well. Not that it matters. Like there. And, um, and yeah, so he burns down and we're into Augury Rock. There'll be a bit of dialogue and then we figure out what we're going to do. Augury Rock's kind of one of those funny things that a million things happens at once as soon as the meta ends, it feels like, and you feel like you're on a time limit. But hey, so let's let's explore, I guess. This is phenomenal. Not only do we have access to the Ascension Chamber, but the lower catacombs have been opened as well. Seize the opportunity. Prepare for the Ascension. Keep up if you can. So her dialogue threw me because she said prepare for the ascension. So what, do I follow her and sort of half ascend, which is what the achievement dialogue was talking about? I throw that, cast that notion to the side. I don't go into the basement at all. Even as I speak to you right now, I can't really remember what happens in there. 
Um, I try and like climb up the gold and stuff there because I realize the gist might be just to climb up on the inside. Clearly, it's hollow. We saw that look, uh, you know, that the appearance of that um, earlier when we were butting heads against the invisible wall. So we ignore her. I don't remember as well whether the throne of Palantir ghosts spawn at this exact moment too. Like there was a lot of stuff going on. So eventually after messing with the scriptures, you'll probably see on another AP of the day I'll do later because I've still got to finish that. And I still want to do a lore video on the main channel about what they actually say, especially after this release, right? Uh, I decide to stop messing with the flame seeker stuff and I'm just going to go up. I remember that I remember these caves here. These were fine and I just remembered it being an exit and another point to the vista. Like up here, if we take a left, We'll leave, won't we? And we'll find the vista. And I've done this before. But what blows my mind... Look at this. There's some, like, wood. And this is totally new to me. I never knew you could climb up this high. And look, there's loads of, like, little rooms going up and down. This is all to do with the scriptures. All the lights and things appear in different places like this. This is just totally new content to me. And I had no... I was already in love with Augury Rock. And I think the devs did so good. I, I, I mean, Path of Fire was such a beautiful expansion in a lot of places. This is one of them. And I didn't even know about all of this. So now I'm a little bit giddy and I'm like, okay, there's clearly some kind of jumping puzzle in uh, Augury Rock that you get an achievement for finishing. It kind of has that Path of Fire problem though where like they're flirting with a new concept it seems and that's sort of a mount jumping puzzle. They have an interesting mechanic going on here. Well, sort of, uh, do, do I say a mechanic? They have an interesting thing at play which is... They're going to force you to swap from Springer to cross a gap that like a Raptor or a Jackal or a Griffin would do. And in the time that you swap, they're going to try and get you in combat with one of these mobs. So I'm trying to cleanse the cripple with my F2 and it gets reapplied anyway. But uh, so I kind of like that idea. As I was climbing, it was just making me think about the balance of mounted gameplay versus non. Like look at this Earth Elemental here. I'd love to stop and fight him or to feel like there was meaning in fighting him. But there's not, you know, he's, he's a chance to slow me down and make the game feel bigger and stuff, but it kind of doesn't happen. And all these guys as well, because I can just griffin along. And then I was wondering if it was really just a griffin thing that I was wondering about, and it's just the griffin's OP, but the, the raptor would have done the same. Anyway, we fly up, and there you go, Augury ascended. So, it wasn't really much of a JP in the end, but it was a huge climb up the interior of Augury Rock that I did not know existed. And to me, that was a real highlight of the day. It's literally like a, another little bit of an expansion I played a year ago suddenly unlocked and unveiled itself to me. So I really recommend you guys try this out. It's a beautif beautiful area of the game. And uh, yeah, that, that's about it. That's all Augury Ascended. I do spend a while inside now doing scriptures, but that will be another video for another time, I'm sure. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed. See you tomorrow.